From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Ropecast. Hello, Roger. Hello, Peter. What's the topic? I have a language problem. Well, try me. I went to a bar the other day with my friend David from London. Yeah. And so he told me a story from his student days. And at one point he says to me, well, we had a few Britneys and I was too ashamed to tell him I didn't understand him. <laughs> But now I, I, I'm telling you, I don't know what they had. I know oh. it's uh, probably it's not sexual. No. <laughs> uh, you know, because Brittany is a first name. Yeah. But still, I don't know what they had. Who do you think of when you hear the name Brittany? Brittany Spears. Exactly. The, the, yeah. Having a few Brittany's, Brittany Spears. This is an example of what we call rhyming slang. Uh -huh. That is, instead of using the word you would normally use, mm -hmm. in this case, having a few beers, you use something that rhymes with it, Britney Spears. Uh -huh. And then, to make it really hard, you drop... What the, rhymes? The rhyming word, yeah. Ah, okay, I get it. It That's, is complicated, right? It is, oh, yeah, <laughs> it is extremely complicated, but, but it's fun, too. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> On the subject of beer, there's another one I could try you with. Uh -huh. If someone said that he enjoyed a pint of Nelson... A pint of Nelson. Yeah. Now, obviously, you told me the solution. That's also a pint of beer. Yeah. Okay, now let me try how it works. Right. Nelson, Nelson. Admiral Nelson. No. no. Um, Nelson Mandela. We would say Mandela. Mandela. Yeah. But that's that's the name that's, they're referring to. That's the one. But Mandela, as you pronounce it, doesn't rhyme with beer. No. But it does rhyme with Stella, as in Stella Artois, which is a kind of expensive beer people might drink. From Belgium. Exactly, yeah. Uh -huh. So this is Nelson Mandela yeah. rhymes with Stella. And Stella is a beer. And then we drop the Mandela and say a pint of Nelson. Oh, my God. That's even more complicated yeah. than the first one. You have one more. But it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is really fun. It's kind of humorous, isn't Lots it? Lots of them you can work out for yeah. yourself if you use your loaf. Uh, if I use my head. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's a loaf of bread. Exactly. Ah, well okay, done. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. I so, get it. I get it. And what about, um, the, well, the jokiness comes through, for example, if somebody in London says, I was, having, I was having a bit of a struggle the other day, and me trouble kept interrupting me. Me trouble kept interrupting me, me trouble, me trouble. That has to be a person, yeah. because they, they interrupt you. Yeah. Well, your boss could do that. No. Um, the, your wife could. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's the that, solution. That's so the solution. So your trouble is your wife. Yeah. Still trouble, trouble. Well, we have um, nothing to do with rhyming slang. We have the expression trouble and strife. Okay. Yeah, trouble and strife. Strife rhymes with wife. Yeah. And so you say trouble instead of wife. Yeah. I have lots of these. I mean, a whole uh, list of these. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think our time is up. But why don't we do another podcast? Let's, let's devote our next podcast and you can tell me a few more, okay? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So bye, folks, for now. And just tune in for the next episode where we'll have a lot more rhyming slang for you. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, Peter? What? Are you making progress? <laughs> Well, I hope so. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>